Hard to imagine a better place in the world to be quarantined than the North Shore of Oahu. And with tons of swell pouring into the Seven Mile Miracle, the local crew has been absolutely scoring. Nathan Florence and Co. Rothman have been psyching on the best April pipe conditions since, well, ever, maybe? That might have been the first wave I've ever claimed. I'm so excited to get a good wave, that's why. And the other Koa, Koa Smith, has been in on the action as well. Oh. Well, earlier this week, WSL CEO Eric Logan explained how we're gonna be crowning our world champion starting next year. It's going to go down to a one day surf off with the winner take all. And two time world champ Tyler Wright is fired up. You know, I just wanna see surf offs. Um, so to actually be in the position now where WSL has taken that idea and really made it happen. It's pretty exciting. And since we're talking about Tyler Wright, WSL Rewind is going to take us back in time to the 2014 Roxy Pro France so we can all re-watch Tyler Wright and her near-perfect performance in the final. Plus, we get to see John John Florence's demonstrative performance at all-time Hossiger as he goes on to take only his second CT victory of his career. And in the good news department, the Maui chapter of the Surfrider Foundation has just won huge in the Supreme Court of the United States of America. In a 6-3 ruling, the court stood in defense of the Clean Water Act. This is a big win for Maui and sets a precedent for the protection of other coastlines. Nature once determined how we survive. Now we determine how nature survives. Join us in demanding that Congress takes action on climate change now. So for more on that epic run of swell in the North Shore of Oahu, an in-depth talk with Tyler Wright, and to learn more about the Maui Surfrider Foundation battle, go to worldsurfleague.com. The files are in the computer, so find them. Itzelo Ferreira has been posted up at home in Brazil, riding out this crazy storm. And with surfing still permitted in his area, he just dropped a new edit he's calling Rough Times. Shot in black and white, it showcases the world champ keeping the vibes up and making the most of the wedges he's got at his local beach break. And from one Brazilian world champ to another, pre-lockdown, Gabriel Medina was in beast mode at home at Marisa. We're talking barrels, full rotation enters, massive power hacks, and surfing is nothing short of mind blowing. How about that new black spray on those Kamiyaka surfboards? Last September, Juan Daru broke his collarbone surfing a Portugal slab called Crazy Left. Right before the beaches in France were closed, he was well on his way to recovery, back charging crazy double overhead tubes. And for more from Hossiger, starting on Wednesday, WSL Rewind will be dipping into the 2014 Quicksilver and Roxy Pro. And finally, a very happy birthday to a couple of our favorite people, Jeremy Flores and Rosie Hodge. From all of us here at the WSL and from fans across the world, we hope you're having an amazing day. So to watch Italo's full edit and for more from France, you know what to do. You can head over to worldsurfleague.com. Do you like that? Well, if so, subscribe over there and then watch more videos over there. And then tell us your favorite videos down there. It's a three-step process. Do them all now.